Welcome back everybody for another episode of Seeking Discovery. Today is a big day, as you can see behind me. The bus looks a little bit funny because there are, well, there's one window over there, but the rest, all the windows are out. Um, and ultimately our goal today is to get the windows out, cleaned, scrape off all the old sealant on them, and then get them painted so that hopefully tomorrow we can start reinstalling them, resealing them, and getting the bus as watertight as possible. Welcome to Seeking Discovery. I'm Ryan, and I have a passion for travel and building things. At the end of 2020, I decided it'd be a great idea to purchase my very own school bus to convert into a tiny house. So come along as I make mistakes, learn a lot, and make lasting memories turning this old bus into a new tiny home. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along on all the adventures. I look forward to sharing this with all of you. And as always, continue to explore every day. This morning when we came out to the site, we noticed there were a couple of water spots on the floor, so the ceiling does have some leaks. Um, so that's something that will need to be addressed before the subfloor can go in so that we're not getting water on that. Also, if you can see behind me, there's a couple of extra people in the bus, and that's because my parents are in town and they volunteered to come out to the bus for a few days and help get some work done. So having the extra set of hands to really tackle these windows quick is a big help. So come along as we tear these windows out, get them all cleaned, painted, and reinstalled, and hopefully have some nice watertight seals when it's all done. So while I ran and got the pressure washer, as you guys can see, we've got all the windows out and my parents started tackling the window frames. So coming in here with a putty knife, scraping off all of the extra gunk and sealant from when the bus was originally made so that we can have a nice clean surface. Ultimately, we'll come back with mineral spirits and wipe this all down to get it really clean before we go in with the butyl tape and reseal it. Behind me, the bus is all tucked in. That's because we only got about a third of the windows back in yesterday and there was storms in the forecast. So I picked up this big 20 by 30 foot tarp and we tarped the bus last night to keep it protected with the windows still out. And it looks like it held up through the storms, which kind of delayed us getting out here today, but we're ready to get back to it, get the windows back in as many as we can. I ran out, or I will be running out of butyl tape, so I put in an order for some more of that, but that won't be here till tomorrow. So we'll see how far we can get with the supplies we have and go from there. As I mentioned to you guys, my parents are in town and one of the things that we're working on is resealing all of the windows here. So to do that, we're using what's called butyl tape, which is kind of like a, a sticky putty type tape that's on a roll here. So I got mine on Amazon, it's been working great. So if you guys wanna see which one I used, I will put a link in the description if you wanna go purchase it. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're gonna be putting the butyl tape on the seams of the window to fill in all of those gaps when we put the window back in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So you just kind of measure it out. And the nice thing is with it being so putty-like, you can just tear it apart. I'm just gonna set that there. And then basically all you do is you come in, make sure you cleaned out your track. And we're just putting the butyl tape down there and being careful of the dam so that we're not getting it too high up on the dam. And then we're gonna grab some more. And again, I'm just giving it a rough measure, eyeballing it, because if there's extras, we'll pack the corners. Same thing up top, we're gonna press it in real tight. And as I go down the sides, I'm making sure that you can see a little bit of the butyl tape 
on the edge so that when we put that window in, it'll really pinch it in there and should seal it really well. Once we've got it adhered, you start peeling the backer off. And I found the easiest way is to just kind of rock the paper. Was that your watch? Oh. Just rock the paper and it comes off pretty easily. The, the warmer the tape, the stickier it is and the more difficult it'll be. So if you can do it when it's a little bit colder, I would recommend it. So we've got our tarp over here protecting the bus but it's also keeping the window sills cooler, which is making it easier to get the backer off the tape. As you guys want to keep an eye out for is the corners of the window. So we take an extra piece of the, the butyl tape and we really just kind of pack it in there nice and tight so that we don't get any water creeping up behind the window. Kind of like that. So now that we've got our butyl tape on there, we're going to take our window and Grab a ray. <laughs> We're gonna grab our window and then just check the bottom of it, wipe off any of the dust that it's gotten sitting on the floor. And keep in mind that we did pressure wash all of these and clean them really well before putting them back in. And then the easiest thing to do, in my opinion, is to line up your window at the bottom and then you kind of roll it in from the bottom. Oh, this one isn't seated. And then you kind of just push down on it, get it into frame, and give it a good push. And then we'll come back with the original clips and screw those in to reseal the window. We go in with our original caps and screws, line it all up, and go in with the impact driver. And as you can see, as I did that, it really pulled that window in there tight and push it up against the butyl tape that's in the joint. And now the last step, once the window is screwed in, is on the outside, we'll come in with a caulk and caulk the perimeter as well. So we'll cover that later in the video. The past couple of days have been busy crazy out here at the bus. I've got my parents on site and they've been helping a lot to get the windows taken out, cleaned and re-caulked. My dad has been doing a great job at caulking. Um, so we're about to open up another tube to keep working on the windows. And to seal them out, in addition to the butyl tape, we're using this Dynatron seam sealer. Um, it's a 3M product. I got mine at AutoZone, but I had to go to two different locations because they didn't have a lot in stock. Um, so we've gone through, I think, about three tubes. This will be tube number four. Um, so to do all of the windows on my bus, which was 22, I'm guessing it'll be about five tubes of the sealant. Um, but I'll let you guys know once it's all ready to go. So if you guys haven't used caulk before, um, we've got our caulk gun and I'm going to attempt to slice this open and get it right. So I'm looking at one quarter on the tube. There's some measurements there and just going to take a box cutter and try to give it about a 45 degree cut. Maybe. Oh. So there we go, there's the opening. Now I mentioned this in one of the other videos, but for caulk, there's also another seal in there. So on your caulk gun, there's this nifty little pin and you take the pin and you just stick it in your tube puncture it and you can I'll just wipe that on there put it back out of the way and then I like to load my tubes onto the plunger and it'll fit in the gun and then you just slowly start squeezing until you feel pressure and then as you go you should start seeing some come out of the tip here and then we're gonna apply it to the windows. As you guys can see here, we've got the butyl tape that we put in when we put the windows back in. So now we're going to add caulk on top of that. And then if you look at this window, my dad's been coming back with some rubbing alcohol on his fingers and kind of pressing it in nice and tight to make sure it's a good seam. So we're gonna come back over to this window where I left off and ran out of the last tube. And like I mentioned, you're just gonna squeeze and kind of drag it along and try to fill it as best you can. Okay. 
brand new tube moves <laughs> oh, way, way a lot faster than the, the one that was open. Well guys, it has been a busy couple of days out here at the bus build. Um, as you guys may have seen in some of the footage, my parents were out here and they were a massive help as we went through and did a not so fun job of pulling all of the windows out of the bus and scraping them, cleaning them, resealing them all, putting them back in, and then caulking them afterwards. So we are hopeful that the bus is basically watertight now. We're supposed to get some rain in the next couple of days, so that'll be the real test if there's anything that I need to touch up once they're gone. But again, huge thanks to them for taking time to come down and help me with this. And I look forward to the next time they're out here to come along on the bus adventure. If you guys like these kinds of videos, be sure to give them a big thumbs up and leave a comment below about what you wanna see next. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along as this school bus becomes a tiny house. If you guys want to see the most up-to-date content on the bus build, be sure to check out my other social media like Instagram and TikTok for the most up-to-date information on the bus build. Both of those are linked down below. And head over to seekingdiscovery.com if you want to see some of the blog posts about the bus and follow along with the rest of the adventures. But until the next video, we'll see you guys later.